guys, I hope everybody is having a wonderful Sunday. Um, I had to stay home with church along with my mom and Juniper and Connor. We all have a cold, so we don't get to go to church this morning, so we hope everybody else is having a great Sunday and we can live vicariously through those of you who did go to church. Um, but just wanted to give you a few days update because I know I haven't done a movie in two days. So let me uh, just review. Friday was another really hard day. Um, woke up feeling really overwhelmed. I was super impatient. Um, but it made up for it. On Oh, and I also kept jamming my toes underneath the dryer and the washer when I'm trying to put laundry in. So it's like I lean up too close and keep jamming my, because I'm wearing my flip-flops, which is probably not the best thing to do when I'm going down to the basement to do laundry, because it's just too easy for something to crunch my toes. So two times I've jammed my toes underneath the washer and the dryer. So that really hurt. Um, but now my daughter is going to come down and help me switch the laundry now. And she doesn't stub her toes underneath. So anyway, that was my solution to keep jamming my toes. Uh, Saturday, yesterday, guys, was an amazing day. It was like the best day I've had in a long time. Uh, it started with sleeping well, uh, even though my son woke up at, I think, 3.30. Um, but I was able to go back to sleep again, um, went for a run that morning, and um, got to have a really special date with my daughter. Uh, I just decided um, Mima was home with Connor, and I was like, I just want to have some one-on-one -on -one time with her. So we just had the best time. We ate lunch together and then, you know, had our Starbucks drinks together, and it was just precious and I was very present you know wasn't impatient or anything so the whole day yesterday I didn't get overwhelmed at all so kind of made up for the bad day on Friday uh, so um, tomorrow this is why especially I needed to do this today um, tomorrow's the day that we've decided uh, to talk to Juniper about me leaving um, we haven't um, broached that subject yet and we're gonna do it um, when her Daddy and her, his daddy's girlfriend and his other daughter that used to be my stepdaughter are all coming over for lunch and uh, just decided to use that time to talk to her. So um, my heart is a little bit um, kind of open about that, of feeling kind of vulnerable. Um, but I have just been praying, like, God, give me wisdom. Like, how do you tell a three-and-a-half-year-old what I have to tell her, you know? Um, and so I was praying about it and just felt like, you know, God wanted to show something to me through that devotional again. And again, of course, <laughs> it's always exactly what I need. Um, Psalm 33 in the devotional, and it's a song of praise. So at first I started reading it, it's like all about like just praising Jesus, praising Jesus. And I'm like, I do not feel like praising Jesus, you know, in the situation that I'm in. Like, no, this is not the right psalm for me, you know. But as I read it, it's about praising him, you know, in the middle of really hard things. And that, you know, to have joy in the midst of, you know, broken stuff. You know, uh, so anyway, I'm going to read the good stuff again because um, it just was exactly. Um, and, you know, sometimes uh, another part that I'll, I'll mention when it's like praising him and it says in the verses to praise him with all you have, with all that's in you. And I really like realize like God knows even if it's like this much in my heart that can praise him, it, it, it means so much to Jesus, even the tiny lit little bit of, you know, okay, I can have a little bit of joy in the midst of the rough stuff. So anyway, that was another revelation I had. So um, it's time to sing and shout for joy. Praise him with all you have. Sing and make joyous music with all you've got inside. Sing and shout with passion made a spectacular sound of joy. For God's word is something to sing about. He is true to his promises. His word can be trusted. And everything he does is so reliable and right. 
The Lord loves seeing justice on the earth. Anywhere and everywhere, oh, anywhere and everywhere, you can find his faithful, unfailing love. All he had to do was speak by his spirit wind command. And then it goes into like his creation and all of that. And, um, and then uh, let everyone worship Yahweh, this awe-inspiring creator. And then talks more about how his voice, you know, spoke the heavens and the earth. And I just had another revelation um, that if he can, with one word, you know, have the heavens come in and all of creation, can I trust, you know, that he also has the same, you know, love for me? Um, you know, it just anyway, that, hold on, I'm probably, uh, let's see. If he keeps the earth in motion, can you trust me? That was his question to me. Um, and so, yes. Uh, so his destiny plan for the earth stands sure. His forever plan remains in place and will never fail. Blessed and prosperous is that nation who has God as their Lord. The Lord looks over us from where he rules in heaven, gazing into every heart from his lofty dwelling place. He observes all the people of the earth. The creator of the hearts considers and examines everything we do. Almost done. <laughs> Human strength and the weapons of man are such false hopes for victory. The eyes of the Lord are upon even the weakest worshipers who love him. Those who wait in hope and expectation for the strong, steady love of God. God will deliver them from death. The Lord alone is our radiant hope, and we trust in him with all our hearts. His wraparound presence will strengthen us. As we trust, we rejoice with an uncontained joy flowing from Yahweh. So let your love and steadfast kindness overshadow us. Continually, for we trust and wait upon you. Um, so again, it, it, the human strength part is trying to do it in our own strength, which we all know uh, about. I think every one of us tries to do that before we realize like, oh yeah, uh, he just wants me to trust him in this place instead of trying to do it in my own strength. So that is the revelation that I got for tomorrow. Um, but again, your guys' prayers would be greatly appreciated just for wisdom uh, for tomorrow, um, for having this conversation with them. Um, yes. So that, um, I also think I'm going to pick a worship song while this is, uh, loading. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but I'll put the lyrics in there. Um, and again, uh, thank you guys and I hope you all are having a great Sunday and check the lyrics cause I know the song, but I can't think of what the name is right now. So Check it out, and again, thank you for your prayers for tomorrow, and I will let you guys know how it goes. Uh, have blessed weekends, blessed Sundays. Bye, guys.